Howdy. Welcome, gamers. How you doing? Having a good time? Good evening? Good afternoon? Depending on where you are. My name is Video James. Premiering a brand new show here on the Zelda-thon channel called Dungeon Shuffle. Got some friends with me. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Okay. I am Hermione, and I am part of the Zelda podcast. Hi. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Valor, and I'm also a part of the Zelda podcast. And uh, I'm here to have a monkey barrel of laughs or whatever. You know what? We're all about monkeying around here. Yeah, Dungeon okay. Shuffle is a show all about premiering some new, fun, and exciting randomizers. Today I decided to start I, off with uh, something a little different. Didn't want to go with Zelda right off the bat, you know, something a little too stereotypical. So we're going to do DK64 randomizer. This game is a lot of fun, and I think the randomizer really enhances uh, what's good about this game, what's fun about it. Um, I know, obviously, this game's got a lot of complaints over the years and criticisms, but the randomizer does a lot to fix, kind of update, and improve on the quality of life how this randomizer works. So, with that, you guys want to get started? Let's do it. Want to get into the game? Yeah. All right, so, the way this works is uh, we start with two random Kongs. In this, we just happen to start with Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Start with a couple random moves, yep. and uh, we're going to be looking for some keys. Keys are kind of the most important part. So we start with keys one, three, and six, and the rest are going to be very important on our journey one. That, let's go ahead and get this started. Actually, hold on, I need to clear my notes here. I'll be taking lots of notes early on as we uh, begin this journey. It always start with keys one, three, and six, or is that just a random? Yeah. So key one um, is kind of just necessary to like not bottleneck you super hard. Whereas if you just started with no keys, then you would basically have be forced into level one very early. Um, keys three and six don't really do that much, so they're more so just you know there for the fact of you don't want to just add a bunch of random items that you need for no reason other than the fact that. Required, but yeah. Anyway, let's get going. Gotcha. It's time to go. Alright, so Diddy and Donkey Kong are the two fastest Kongs in the game, which is really nice. DK is the fastest by far. This move, this roll move, is by far the fastest way to move around in the game, which is great. Hey, okay, we got a blue potion there. So potions are moves. Moves are very important. They're very essential to clearing different parts of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that really quick. We start. Here we got, oh, it's the bean, oh my god. We start with the bean in the cage right away. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? The bean, bean is, is kind of a meme item. I, I, just like in real life. Yeah, we love the bean. All right, They're so a big memes. part of this randomizer is going to be every time we get access to a level, we get a bunch of hints that are gonna be very important for figuring out the, uh, Kind of the way the seed plays out. So let's go see. What's our first hint? Research and development area. That's an area in factory and it's path to key eight. Key eight is uh, the last key that we need. Caves chunk candy chunky. Okay, one sec. Let me write that down. Candy chunky is way of the horde. Way of the horde basically just means that item is required for something. Not very specific, but right. grape is path to lankies. But the K rule, okay, so K rule is the final boss. Pass the K rule means there are items we need just for the final boss. Finally, tiny med is way of the horde as well. Great, okay. Very cool. And then how many GBs, golden bananas, as you see the counter at the bottom? How many do we need? We need five to go into caves. Okay, so we'll come back here later when we have five golden bananas. Way of the horde sounds like a cult. I promise you, it is important. I don't know if you guys can hear the music right now, but it's uh, the DuckTales moon theme, which is... Fantastic. That's the moon theme, all right. I was about to comment. Love this theme. There's our first golden banana. We need 60 in order to beat the game. I so didn't know one out of 60. 
Sorry, I couldn't hear, hear there. Nana, all right, we're up to two. All right, so level one is Japes. That is actually vanilla, which is good. Isles Grape, Lanky Great Cage, okay. So we looked at that already, and that is a blue potion, so we're going to need that. It's probably Trombone. He too can be acquired in Caves, that's level two, okay. And then Isles Kasplat Caves Lobby Punch, okay. <laughs> Some of these hints can be pretty specific, but here we have them. Caves, Lobby, Kasplat, Woth, okay. And I'm writing all this down because when we finally get these items, it's all going to make sense. It's all going to line up. Okay. Foolish just means we never need to go to that area. Owl Tree is a great place to never have to go to. Lanky is Kasplat. Okay, so let's go into our first level here. So, Jungle Japes is... The first level in the normal game, it's the first level in this rando, but normally we have uh, a random item order, so the fact that we have Japes first is kind of lucky. So Very straightforward that... level, level one. Sorry, that's the that... thing in, um, in Super Smash Brothers, like, is that the music or the play? Yeah, exactly. It is in Smash for sure. So just, uh, some of these items, they have overall models, so I can look, I can see what's in this cage, that's nothing, that's a banana metal, we don't care. That's also a banana metal, we really don't care. Just kind of clearing out what we can in this level. Got some colored bananas, which are, uh, gonna be important for the metals. We need 40 for the metals in the rando, um, and each of those is their own individual item. Yeah, and the, all the uh, enemies are random as well. We'll see that in just a sec, actually, when I go into this crown pack. Normally, these are set arena items that uh, have, like, enemies that are set. But here, it's just going to be random. Like, we have this flame enemy. You never see that flame enemy outside of a specific area. So the fact that it's here, it's random. It's a randomizer. Isn't that cool? The goal here is just to survive, don't get knocked off until the timer ends. So I'm just gonna move around such that the enemies never get me. That guy got me, but it's fine. Ooh. We're good. Well played. Alright, so in the shop, Lanky's got a key and then Tiny's got a potion. So we'll come back when we get those Kongs. That's nothing. Here. gonna peek. Okay, that's a purple potion. That's for Tiny Kong. We'll get that later. Be important, but for now we don't have those Kongs, so we can't get them. We can't collect them. Red bananas mean what? Red bananas? What do they mean? What's that? The red bananas, what do they mean? Oh, so the red bananas can only be picked up by Diddy Kong. That's kind of the thing. All right, we got coconut gun. Coconut gun's really important. Now I can shoot things. Blat, blat, blat. I hear it can fire in spurts. It really can fire in spurts. That's the way it works. Yeah, coconut's gun's gonna be nice. really important. Uh, nice. Nice fall damage. <laughs> Ouch. Get some points here real quick. We're fine. Yeah, so the yellow bananas can only be collected by Donkey Kong. The red ones can only be collected by Diddy. Um, they're going to be important for not only the medals, but also fighting the boss in this area, which may or not may not be required. It all depends on how the seed is decided to roll. Bruh, please let me up. <laughs> <laughs> no easy yeah, way Coconut Gun is... Coconut gun's important because all those cages you saw with the items inside, those are locked by the coconut gun. I love this track. This is actually, this is a great bait temple from Majora's Mask. Done in the DK64 sound farm, which is really cool. Wait, the layout is based on that? Mm -hmm. Song. The song is based on Great Bait Temple. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's... 
that's actually really cool. Like, if you hadn't pointed out, I don't know if I would have placed it. Because of how the uh, sound font is. How natural it sounds, right? It feels like it belongs yeah. in the game. Yeah, for real. Okay. Nothing. So a lot of things we can just look at and peek at them and see what the items are before we actually do anything. Oh my god, do we have double pearl in the shop? That's awesome. That's really rare. Pearl is like a really rare item, so the fact that it's just there is really fun. And it was for the two characters you have, right? Yep. We don't really need the pearl, though, so it's fine. Uh, we become Rhombus. Oh, wow. It's an oh, wow. I didn't know there was such an even in this game. Jumbo. Ouch. Here. Uh, and so then, okay, we're done with that for now. What's that? Uh, from my life. I'm about to admit to a crime. Um, when I was a kid, I rented this game from Blockbuster, and they provided you with the expansion pack that came with mm -hmm. it, and I I never returned it. Like, I just oh. I kept it, and they and they, they never asked for it back. So I, I stole... I'm the reason that Blockbuster went out of business. It's all my fault. Wow. I stole that expansion pack. The Netflix supremacy, all because of you. <laughs> it's me. I, I did it. I have Call this game, but I never, I, I never actually got the expansion pack, so I could never play it. <laughs> oh wow, unfortunate. Uh, Jackson, the pack. I returned the game. <laughs> yeah. These are Kasplats. They always have an item. So I want to kill them whenever I can find them. So we have five GBs, so I can enter a uh, castle, which is level two now. I want to do that as soon as possible, so I'm probably just going to leave as soon as I kill this one more, just to make sure this is nothing. Yeah, so the expansion pack is used for DK64, Majora's Mask, and Perfect Dark, and that's it. Those are the only, yep. item, the only games where they, they serve a function. Uh... Very funny. <laughs> Thievery. Yes, yeah, time for perfect dark. <laughs> I missed. We're going to level two crystal caves. What we know about crystal cave is that uh, candy chunky is way of the hero. We don't have chunky yet, but we find Lanky Kong in one of the splats. So hopefully we find Lanky Kong first. Yeah, Majora's Mask sure did get the short end of the stick in terms of, like, it requires it, but nobody nobody packaged the game with the expansion pack. So it just ended up being this kind of, like, weird game where you just kind of were expected to have it. What I'm doing here is I'm switching between the Kongs because it, like, affects the gravity and how they move. It's just kind of, like, a faster way of uh, ascending through the platforms. And there you get a higher ledge grab if you... Backflip with Diddy was a higher backflip, and then Donkey Kong has the ledge. So, just works out very nicely. Alright, please tell me you are the one with Lanky Kong. No, you're not. Nope. How dare you? Just a banana. Is that an alligator? I'm imagining that. He's like blue, but an alligator. What do you mean? The, the enemy? Does he look like an alligator? Yeah, the enemy. Uh, I think he's supposed to be like a... Like a reptile of some sort. So alligator's probably not that far off from what he's supposed to be. I don't know if there's like an animal yeah. specified. I think most of the Kremlings are are crocodiles or alligators. Nothing there that I can get right now. All right, you guys want to see a cool little trick? Yes. Too bad. He knows oh. all the tricks. Actually, no. I, you know, I'll, I'll go for this. Why not? <laughs> so I'm not supposed to be able oh. to do that, but Welcome to bonus day. <laughs> might as well for a banana. Oh, that's cool. Welcome to a bonus stage. Mailing at the bonus stage. These guys are awfully fast. Oh, 
imagine killing reptiles with water rods. <laughs> Well, you mean you never, as a kid, went and shot alligators in your backyard with watermelon cannons? <laughs> I can't say I've ever had alligators in my backyard. Alleged reptile. I never. I didn't grow up in the South, so you know maybe that's just a <laughs> personal experience. But uh, I'm, I'm not we'll quite tough enough to deal with alligators. How do we know you're not just a gator trying to like manipulate us into thinking gators are totally safe? Uh, yeah, you know, listen. Ch Chunky Shut finds up. tiny. Um, yeah, Beaver Bother is one of the mini games in this video game that actually got banned from the standard settings of the randomizer because it's. It was deemed too hard for a casual player. Funny. No, no lanky for you. So did the characters just pop out of them when they die? Like, is that... They, they will. They sure will. You'll see it. Hopefully. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> There's another splat coming up in just a bit, but first we got to check the shop. Anna's. Just a root banana. Ooh, banana. How much? Four? Alright, don't care, give it to me. Wait a minute. That's not a banana. Will you ask what's the oldest game that has a randomizer. Mm. I don't know what would the, the first randomizer would have been. It's an interesting question. Not a question that I have the answer to, but... I can look it up, I think. Maybe. Do you have a Lanky Kong? Uh... No, but you have a move. Saxophone Ooh. slam. Right. We'll use that later. In this very room, it looks like. Yeah, I once saw we it have on the ground. Tiny Kong, we will. So I'm trying to figure out. I think we actually have to leave. Yes. We're going to have to leave for now. Oh. Go back into Jake's. Bye, Kay. Or... I can, I can never not dance to this song. It's so good. Oh, actually, hold on. I know, right? It's it's just such a great groove, great jam. So there's one thing I can do here before I go back into Japes. All the way down here. Fall damage. What? It's just a GP. What the heck, man? So we have hey, nine we GPs. 60 of those, you said. Yeah, we need 60, so we're almost one-sixth of the way there. <laughs> Math. Yeah, there is actually one more thing I can do, but I'm gonna go back into James just for a bit. See if I can do some boss stuff. So there is a boss over here. Not always gonna be required, but yeah, we love Mad Jack. Jackson's favorite boss in the game. <laughs> Let's see what this is, and if this is nothing, then I pretty much I know where I need to go after this. I guess there's also the ditty before. Ugh, it's gonna be annoying. Please be a required item. Oh, it's just a GB. All right, I'm out of here. We're leaving. So how much does did he have? Stuck on 35. I need to figure out where the last five that I can get are. I can get Diddy's medal. Just a matter of 
finding those last five that are available to me right now in the video game. Oh, are they just right here? Yeah, I mean, they're just right here. No, I already got them. Uh, shoot. Okay, where where am I looking? Is up here? No, these are tiny bananas. Okay, um... Maybe I'm being lied to. The lie in the video game right now. 15. I can't believe the video game would lie to you. He's a gaslighting you. I know, right? Uh. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, let's just leave and see if there's this I can do right here. Well, this game that has... I mean, there's tons of NES games that have randomizers, so... It's a very open-ended question, I suppose. No, there's tons of NES games that have randomizers. Like Zelda 2, I know, has a randomizer for sure. Zelda 1 presumably has one too. Just a rainbow coin. What is the rainbow coin? Rainbow coin is five coins for every single Kong, which allows you to buy stuff from the shops here. Okay, Diddy has a move, okay. I was, I was getting worried there for a second, but I think we're good. Look, it's Baboon Blast. Okay, interesting. Interesting item to have. That definitely gets us stuff to do. That was interesting. He just... Yeah? Heals over. You. Drinks the potion. <laughs> Big drinking. Actually, that is a good question. With, with this randomizer, are there like... Top categories or, or, or like, like sets of... Um, settings that people use when uh when they play most people or... play on what's called the currently we have like seasons which are kind of oriented around different like eras of tournaments right now we're on season two and those have been these are the settings that i'm playing on the season two settings and they're meant to be accessible but competitive it's kind of the idea the goal of what these settings are so you won't be required to do any sort of glitches in order to uh in order to do well at the rando, but still it requires like a certain skill set that, you know, not just the average Joe can pick up, if you know what I mean. Gotcha. Yeah. One thing I can do with Baboon Blast, I'm gonna go ahead and do in this level. And if this is nothing, then I'm once again at a loss. It's been a very interesting start to the seed. That's the lizard dude. How you doing? Also, shout out to Danny Music. How you doing, bud? All right, now, upcoming Donkey Kong is gonna sound like he's in a lot of pain, but I promise you guys, he is doing fine. He is okay. Here we go. Oh, it's a key! Oh my god, this is key too. Okay, this is great. This is great. This means I can go to level three. We can move on with our lives. Okay, we figured it out. We found the path. Sometimes I wonder if actually shooting yourselves out of out of a cannon consecutively could actually be a you know a, something you could. Uh, be in your life, or no, or not be. Well, as a as an occupation, but in that circus things. Mm -hmm. If you shoot yourself out of a cannon, or someone shoots you out of a cannon multiple times like this, I feel like it'd be fun, but same time very loud. And how is this liable? You're but scary. If you're a person who works in a circus, I suppose that would be viable. I don't think they do it over and over again. Though. It'd be fun though. Not so much fun, 
Okay, so this is key two, and key two is gonna be very important because key two not only does it lock level three, but it also locks level four. Which is very important. Alright, so let's get out of here. I'm gonna go to level three. And from there I will get at least four more hints. Okay, we're gonna get five hints actually. That item is nothing. This is castle is level three. Jape Shops is path to key five. We have a, a key in the Jape Shops, so I can just assume that that's just What's our next hint here? Okay, so this is important. This is the Hideout Helm order. Hideout Helm is level eight in the game, and we're always gonna need three Kongs in order to do it. Um, and not only do we need those three Kongs, but we need each of those Kongs instruments in order. So, um, that's going to be very important. So, Aztec has to be level 4 then, based on that hint. Is this guy that I could get. This is my coconut. What do you got for me, bud? GB? Okay. GB, of course, is short for golden banana. Very important. And look at that. We had 11 golden bananas, and we need them to enter the level. So, nice. Nice. Oopsies, I fell. <laughs> We're okay. Jape Stormy Tunnel is foolish. Yeah, G is short for golden banana and B is short for banana. Alright, let's go into Creepy Castle. So Creepy Castle is normally the last main level in the game. And because of it, a lot of the level is normally locked behind uh, not just one slam upgrade, your like stomp move, but two of them. But uh, the way that this, don't worry about the fact that I just locked up there. That's, that's not important. But the way the randomizer is set up is that the level order actually determines how many slam upgrades you need in order to hit the switches. So normally the switches in this level would be red, which means I need two ground pound upgrades, but because this is level three, I don't need any of them, so I can just proceed into the level as well. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but it just means that the level is more accessible from an early point. So anyway, we're just gonna do the normal motions. There's lots of things to check here. This level is kind of a straight line, a couple different branching pathways. Um, there's the shop here where we have a crown, metal, and be okay so we don't need any of that I'm gonna go in here and so like I was mentioning earlier normally you need ground pound upgrades so this switch would normally be red which means I wouldn't be able to slam it without two different ground pound upgrades but because it's level three you can just hit it normally and you're fine boost just tower the baby yep yeah. so the goal here just get this to display Donkey Kong's face. Oh, that was bad. Oh, oh okay. That's nice. Solve the puzzle. Okay, there's one more thing that I can... This is another peak. I can't do this right now without an item that I can get later. But we can just take a look at what the item is by looking at it in the video game. And it's just a golden banana. Okay, so I'm just gonna ignore that. We're gonna pretend it doesn't exist. Pretend what doesn't exist? Exactly. Glad you got the point. Continue on here. This is another thing we can look at. It's just a golden banana. Okay, that's another thing we're just gonna Pretend does not exist. Is that actually like a, a fog in the game that like hurts you like yep. Mario? That is, no, the fog does not hurt you. It's more just a visual effect to make oh, okay. the game appear more atmospheric. What do you have for us here? Another banana. So one thing, so level four is going to be locked by a move called diving, which lets us dive underwater. We're going to need to find that in order to get to level four, but uh, 
it's guaranteed to be in one of the first three levels, so we won't have to look very hard. And most likely, it's just gonna be here in Castle. Love that banjo. I'm just jamming this music. I. Banjo Kazooie is like my jam, which is why I love this particular game too. But I mean, it, it definitely feels like it's in the exact same vein as Banjo Kazooie, just a little bit more fleshed out in certain ways. And mm -hmm. game design is, in some ways, better; in some ways, a lot worse, depending on who you ask. Barely made that. That's a, that's a global cycle that starts as soon as you enter the level. So I want to make sure that I make it across the bridge before it drops down. Why are there always spiders? Ugh. It's uh again, it's random enemies, but the spiders love to show up in basically every level. Banjo to me, hundred percent. I would be down to do that for uh, 1,000 USD at some point, <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're offering, Jackson. So like I said, this level's kind of a straight line. We just kind of climb up. We don't have Tiny yet, so we can't get these purple bananas, but there's still lots for us to do here. Diddy's got a golden banana, so we'll go ahead and pick that one up. For one coin? Oh my god, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I can beat Canary Mary. I'll beat Canary Mary. Just watch. You guys don't think I can beat Canary Mary? Absolutely. It's easiest, easiest jiggy in the game. The easiest jiggy in the game? Uh, I don't easiest know about jiggy that. in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, just gonna ignore that. That's a Diddy switch, but we can't. Oh, oh, oh! We're fine. Oh, I hear a cop. So there's enemies called cops that, in the normal game, they only show up in a mini game. Where if you get caught, you get kicked out of the minigame you have to start over, but in the randomizer, the cops can be just like random enemies that kick you out and send you to the start of the level. They're very annoying, and beating them is a whole skill set unto itself. <laughs> Having a giggle there? Yeah, <laughs> someone arrow said, what did Jiggy do to you? <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> so this area we normally we need a move called strong kong which is we actually started with strong kong so we we're fine but you really don't need strong kong at all it's like not necessary to do this at all like these guys do almost no damage to you, so not necessary at all. We can just get through this area no problem. Also, this is Cheeto from Banjo Kazooie <laughs> hanging out. Wait, there's a, there's a there's a character called Cheeto. Yeah, related, obviously gives not you, related. To he gives you cheats. Oh, to beat the okay. game. <sighs> I hear that cop, man. Where is he? Sport pad. I think the cop's right here. Yeah, there he is. Die. Why don't you describe Canary Mary in chat, and uh, we can tell you if you're right or not. License and registration, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's two more splats that I can find in this level, and one of them has Lanky Kong. One of them is right here. No, that's a lie. I misled you all. One of them is over here. No. 
There he is. This is one of them. You're right, nerd. I would totally invest in okay. a coconut gun. That, that would be baller, man. Actually, just exit the level here. Alright, so the last Kasplat is guaranteed to have Lanky. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And it requires another one of the barrel courses. Off we go. It was too early. I'm sorry to have disappointed you all. We need to go Canary through each Mary of these rings. We did. Who's the best Kong? Uh, for most intents and purposes, Donkey Kong is the best one, believe it or not. He's the fastest, he has the best attacks, and his moves unlock the most things. But uh, we're going to need moves from a bunch of the different Kongs. Like, we'll, we'll need Chunky for sure. We'll need Tiny for sure. There's Lanky. Look at him just chilling. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yep. Pose there, yeah. <laughs> See, they even just pop out of the bad guys. He's going to hang out there. As if they were hiding oh, underneath. They were like, what? That was those. Yep. Uh, interesting. <laughs> oh, man. It's in his pocket. One more thing I can look at here. I can't get this right now, but I can look at what it is. It's just like, okay, we don't need that. Just a blueprint. Not necessary to complete the scene at all. Don't need it. All right, so there's one more thing I'm going to do in this level, and once we're done with that, we'll move on. We'll get out of here. And hopefully... Get a little bit more progression. All right, so we got a maze blocked by Lanky Kong. All right, you guys want to see a cool trick? Yes. Who's the worst Kong? Probably, probably Lanky. Probably Lanky. I really hope that's great. I really hope. But he that's stretches great. his arm out just for you. Not for me. Just for you. It's for me at all. Alright, so for a while when we were playing this random, we were like, we just have to do this maze normally, right? But somebody figured out that you can backflip with Diddy, switch to Lanky Kong, and just grab on top of the top of the maze. And then you can skip <laughs> all of it and just get to the end. Who needs a maze? Easy. It's a rang stand. Alright. Palmas Walker. Uh, yeah. Love the, the the fake Latin that this game uses. Well, that's real Latin. I didn't, I didn't know. I speak Latin. I think the slam move is just called Buttus Basham. Something silly like that. Go Pinnacle Palaver, just like Pinnacle Rock. Five seconds, why not? From here, I can get Lanky's medal, so I might as well go do that right now before I get out of here. Um, there's another key I can get in Jungle Japes, but I, I will hold off on that until I clear out this level for real. One of the big things we're looking for is Grape. We know that's Way of the Hero, so I have to keep an eye out for that. Didn't you start with Grape? Oh yeah, I have grape. Okay, never mind. Thank you. I'm not paying attention. That's all right. I I was like, uh, wait a minute, hang on. The only reason hang I on, I said anything is that Monica commented on it in the chat when we started. Yeah, well, banana. One more thing I'm gonna do here. Just get these coins. 
and then we're gonna get out of here. So this was hinted way of the hero, which means whatever it is, it's really good. It's probably trombone, if I had to guess. It is trombone. Okay, great. You called it. <laughs> now I'm gonna get one more key here. I think this is key five. That's a trumpet, yeah. Just a guess, just a hunch here, but we'll see what actually happens. Okay. <laughs> so speaking of trombones, what was the last thing that you've seen Super Lewis play controlled chaos with? <laughs> and I saw him do the vacuum controller, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was still think hilarious. <gasps> so on Control Chaos. They worth the worth the view. Every Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, Super Lewis 64, Duggarot, and mm -hmm. Monica, and they play games with or Lewis. Strange and unusual methods, but it's really a great time. Check this out. Check that out here. On this very channel. All right, what do you got for me? Key five? Yeah. Okay, so we can get a big set of hints from this. Which is oh, nice. Pay attention, Lanky. Here's this key. This is very important. We mustn't lose this. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and get this blueprint while we're at it. We'll, probably, we'll be back here for that move that Tiny has. Now we're just going to get that blueprint. Blueprints will be traded in for golden bananas later. Wow. Alright. Here comes the airplane. Yeah. Need this guy to die. Thank you. gonna get this metal and then we'll get out of here and we'll get a bunch of hints so key five unlocks key, both level six and seven they're probably gonna be locked by a lot of gbs though so for right now we're just gonna go get the hints and deal with the levels themselves later on oh my god one more banana chunky kong let's go Okay, so now this is actually really important because we can win. Wait, I can't do this, can I? No, I can't because I don't have barrel throwing. What the heck? Are we just done here? Yeah, yeah we're just done here, aren't we? Damn. All right. Castle can't do anything. Can't even get his metal. Caves. Oh, we can we can get tiny in caves. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get. Tiny in crystal caves. So this is what we know as, uh, we call it Vin Diesel percent, which is basically we have the family. We have all the Kongs. <laughs> Fam. to go. Family. Exactly, exactly. Fam. The Tiny have both ponytail twirl and saxophone, which is great. Definitely saxophone. I I will trust you on the ponytail. I... Oh, yep, yeah, there she is. Hello, <laughs> too Kong, too monkeyist. <laughs> exactly. And Tiny's great because there's another move that we can get from the. Uh... So we might have to do a little bit of back and forth here, but it's going to be worth it. Also, 22 bananas at however long. We're not very far in, I think, right? Like, not even an hour in. 22 bananas under an hour is very, very nice. Yeah, I don't know how long we've been going, but it's definitely less than an hour. Like 30 minutes. 
Maybe something. 45, like that. something like that. Oh, 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 okay. So there's a hint I can get in this lobby here. Normally you need a move from Diddy called Rocket Barrel Boost, but if you're a professional, you can do this. Okay, I'm not a professional. I'm gonna give it one more shot. Okay. I've never actually done this before, so this is more just uh, me attempting to be good at the video game. Almost. You know, what? I'm gonna give it that one more shot. That felt pretty close. Wait, which Kong was that? With the that one, the, the s checkered. Oh come on! Oh, it's so close. Oh. Chunky. This is this is chunky. That was okay. Thank you. <laughs> Need to, I need to practice this one a little bit, but yeah, I'm not even going to attempt that one. We're going to go one more time. I, I know what I need to do. Lucata, thank you for the one year. Uh, one more, to this is it. This is the one. Just one more, guys. Line it up properly. Nope, that's the wrong move. <laughs> okay. This time, for real. For real. That one was just... Mulligan. I was just playing around. Okay. I'm just not gonna bother. It's a cool thing you can do, but... I haven't practiced this, so... We'll just move on. We'll, I'll learn that one for next next episode. <laughs> okay. So... There is a couple things I can do here. This, uh... Igloo over here. What's in there? That's just a rainbow coin. What's in there? That's just a banana metal case. So neither of those things are useful. Mark those off. So, in order to actually get this banana, like in logic, how the game expects you to do it, you need a move for Lanky called Baboon Balloon. But as you can see, Diddy. I can swap to any Kong I want, and I can backflip high enough to skip needing that move. So we just skip all that for free, and we get the prize for free. Balloon here somewhere. Where are you at, Balloon? There it is. I saw it. Yeah, okay. One more thing I can do here, and then we'll get out. Somebody ne never even came here. I have a feeling I know where the diving is. So, uh, once we're done with caves here, go and then hopefully we can finally go for some swimmies. That's a deep saxophone. It, it really is. <laughs> Ouch. Shout out to Pokemon Gen 4. It's a rainbow coin. We'll take it. Why not? Let's get out of here. Back into Japes one more time for that move. Yeah, David Schwimmers. You know him, you love him. Here we go. Alright, let's see what this move is. Let's see what this move is all about. Either gonna be diving or gonna be barrels. Either one of them is gonna be very useful for us. <laughs> I have a Donkey Kong fact list that I'll sprinkle up? throughout that I've forgotten about, Here. but now I remember it. <laughs> so, Donkey Kong doesn't wear a necktie in the original arcade game, but he does have one in all future games. Why? It is the tie as a symbol of DK's dom domesticity? Domesticity? Here we go. On a higher level of, <laughs> yeah, high level of intelligence and Im importance. <laughs> Than a typical ape. He's like goofy. It's like yeah. I walk on two feet. I am not a. Yeah, it's it's blue collar versus white collar Donkey Kong. 
<laughs> Do a trick here to get up on this ledge. Come on. Let me up there. I believe. Yeah. I believe. Easy. <laughs> exactly, Jackson. <laughs> Arrow. Ooh, that's a good move. Oh. Let's see what that is in just a sec. Not, not really a banana. It's barrels! Go. Let's go. Okay, we need that. No. No, let me in. <laughs> can get back in here. Uh, this is not technically something I can do. The game doesn't expect me to do this right now, but uh, we might as well do it anyway, just to check it right now. Get it out of the way. So normally what you're expected to do here is use a move from Diddy called Chimpy Charge to break open that gate, open a switch, and climb all the way up here. But with Tag Anywhere... <coughs> excuse me. With Tag Anywhere, Classic. we can backflip with Tiny, change to Chunky, and just grab the ledge and get up here for free. No need for any of that. Okay, well, tell me. Tiny's hitbox is the largest. So, this is just a banana metal. We don't need banana metals at all, so we're just gonna go ahead and exit. <laughs> Good to know that that's nothing. Even Diddy was like, get me out of here. Alright, Chunky's time to shine. Go down here next. We're already at 25 bananas, which is quite good. It's uh, a lot more than I would expect. And all family members. So there's one freestanding, that's just a banana. This guy is going to drop something as well. So, with this, this is a little bit difficult, but I can fly over here and get this. Oh, wow. Normally, you need you need vines and pineapple, but we're just going to ignore that. A lot of stuff you can ignore, you can just skip over if you, if you know what you're doing, if you're good at the video game. I know, vines said it's all about TikTok. What the heck? I'm so old, Lamau. real quick. Okay. So we need to get that purple potion. And in order to do that, we're going to need to use our newfound barrel throwing ability to not throw a barrel, but a rock. Yeah, I've not He's seen like, any I... any actual barrel throwing. Oh, you'll we'll see it in just a second. Don't you worry. We'll get it in just a second. A picture of you. Thank you. That's probably not going to be necessary, but I'll do it anyway, just in case. It also refills all of my supplies, so... You captured their whole soul. There we go. We threw a barrel. Right? You guys don't believe me, do you? <laughs> The vine's dead, bro. Okay. It's so true. <laughs> well, speaking of social media, if you haven't followed us on our social media pages, it's just at Feldathon on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. And YouTube. And if I miss anything, let me know. <laughs> to keep up with everything that's happening and our events that are coming up, which include. We got Fundraiser. side quests coming up. Yes. December 27th. 
For Zelda Thon Dimensions. Zelda Thon Dimensions. That's right. Waluigi's Arcade Heist is October 27th. That's starting. Love it. That, that yeah, one's from Starlight. Next right, weekend. Really. That's coming very soon. Super cool. All for charity. All super fun. So we're just doing the last couple things we can do here. And then I'm gonna go get all those hints that I promised you guys earlier. <laughs> Only one more thing I can do in this level. Just go up here in this cage with my newly found peanuts. So normally, okay, so normally you need, to get up the slope, you need to use Lanky's orang stand ability. Put some good up slopes. But you can cheat this with Tiny Kong. You can just do this and get up for free, which is very cool. can actually look at what this item is ahead of time. See that it is a blueprint. I'll take the blueprint just because it's going to give me a golden banana later. All these enemies here. Play that funky music. Come. Play that lanky Come. music. <laughs> True. How much does Chunky have? 30. Um, okay, I can get Chunky's medal, so I'll go do that. Because why not? Yeah, thank god it wasn't called Play That Chunky Music, right? <laughs> so there's 10 here, so we can get up to 40, get the banana medal. There, a mini monkey should get us at least a couple things. Just a blueprint, man. man. Right, let's go back into first. Like this. There. And then here, this is the banana fairy. We need to take pictures of four banana fairies in order to get this, but we can take a look at what it is right now. It's just a gold banana. We don't care. What about the bananas gonna... in the sea or whatever that saying is? There's 200 in total and we need 60, so yeah. Quite plentiful. But I've definitely run into seeds before where we need basically every one that we can find. But this is this does not appear to be one of those seeds. Decent no, it's pretty generous. <laughs> We're up to 27 already. We're doing fine. We haven't even entered level 4. We're doing fine diddly -eyed. Go back into caves here. There's two more things. Well, three more things that I can do here that are fairly easy. And hopefully we get diving out of one of them. Alright. I believe alongside you. One of the things I can do is actually over here. This is with Lanky. I could have done this earlier, but I opted not to just because it was kind of slow at the time. But now it feels like a good time to wrap this in. This guy's like, hey, I'm bored. Can, can we play a, a game together? And he'll tell he'll tell us what we get. Oh, that's so you got cute. Any games in your ice castle? We're not gonna play his game. <laughs> We're not gonna play your game. <laughs> You'd like to play a game? Get out I'm, of here. I'm not here to play games. I'm here to watch people play games. <laughs> A 
whole purpose of Twitch. Summed up That's in right. a single sentence. Except for marbles. Everybody likes to play marbles. RNG. Yes, RNG. <laughs> Go. Ooh. Ooh. When your Monday beats you up like <laughs> So that's nothing. That's cool. Didn't need anything here anyway. Got it. Good job. Is that Trixie? I'm imagining that. What's it's her name? Tiny Kong. You're thinking of tiny. Dixie Kong. No. This oh. is Tiny Kong. It's very okay. different. It's her sister. <laughs> right? Sister? Not cousin. Uh, I don't know. Cousin I don't know is... what the lore is. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think that Tiny is Dixie's sister, and then you have. Baby Kong, which is their cousin. Kitty Kong. Oh. And yeah, Kitty Kong. Thank you. Yeah. I've never played Donkey Kong Country, so I can't really comment. This is this is my Donkey Kong game of choice. I don't blame you. This is probably I I like the gameplay of this one as well. Ooh. It is cousin. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Jackson wasn't joking. Okay. Cranky Kong, DK's grandfather, is actually the original Donkey Kong in the arcade game. Yep. Actually, that's actually true. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Castle. Yeah, There's. Goes... Yeah, Nintendo goes really deep with their cannon for no reason at all. <laughs> for no reason at all. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. That. I really need to find diving. If I can't find that, then we're in a lot of trouble. Uh oh. Can't I blame Jackson that. if we can't find it. I also blame Jackson. We have a uh, we have two medals that we can collect, as well as one just like normal check that I'm gonna go to right now. <laughs> Okay, this one I'm gonna ask as a question. Um, Diddy Kong is a cross, a cr is a cross characterization between a chimpanzee and a what kind of animal? I certainly don't know the answer to that question. I'm sure somebody in chat, some nerd in chat knows. <laughs> I mean, he has a tail. I mean, it's some kind of monkey. Yeah, it is. It's a specific kind. A pygmy. Nope. Um. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Let me let me search my uh oh. my monkey brain for. Nope. <laughs> Bonobo? Uh. Nope. That's not what it says. Sorry, I got distracted by him shooting the main character of FNAF. Um, okay. Uh, A range hand? Nope. Hey, let me know when I can not actually give you. Uh, let's You'd see. be like, oh. But. It's a spider monkey. Yes! It's a spider monkey. Whoa. Yeah, of course it is. It... Yeah. You got it, dude. <laughs> Proud of you. I, I, I don't know how to play video games, but I know the lore of video games. That's, <laughs> that's my... Like... I'm just sitting here, like, watching in awe at all these cool tricks that Jamie's pulling off, and I can tell you why Kirby is called Kirby. Uh, Ooh, why is that? Well, this isn't a Kirby game. I don't know if I should if I should cross pollinate, you know? Kirby <laughs> sucks. 
Although it is kind of related to Donkey Kong, I guess. Kirby does suck, you're right. The Pede Park. Well, so, uh, Kirby is named after the lawyer, uh, the lawyer mm, that actually right. saved Nintendo from a universal lawsuit over the game, the original Donkey Kong. Universal tried to sue them saying that they used the King Kong likeness and um, the lawyer not only got them out of it, but also countersued and got Universal to actually have to pay Nintendo royalties because wow. they made a Donk or a King Kong game that, that was too much like Donkey Kong. Yeah, Ooh. John Kirby. Um, and Kirby. so they, they named Kirby after him as, as the thanks. There you go. That's that's why Kirby is called Kirby. I, I, I got Lorefex. Can't play video games for the life of me. Okay. I did see something else about a lawsuit. Uh, I was like, what? Yeah. That's cool. Way to go, Kirby. Yep. John Kirby Air Ride. That's right. Okay. Sorry, Jamie, for hijacking Donkey Kong to talk about Kirby. And it's to John Kirby. That's right. It's all good. Just uh, using my newly found vine powers. See what we can find with that. Ouchie. Again, we're still looking for diving. Diving is a huge bottleneck on the rest of the scene here. So hopefully we can get some get something good out of this. Off we go. Yeah, his name is John Kirby. I don't. We, we just, we just, we, we just talked about that. Oh come <laughs> on, Jonathan Kirby. <laughs> right, that is an actual man's name. John I think they also gave him a boat. Maybe. To 30 golden bananas. Let's check out this real quick. Let's go. So we're halfway there? Yep, halfway, halfway to there. 60. Halfway, yeah. We're still looking for two more keys. One of which we know is an Aztec. The other one, we don't have a hint for you. All right, under 20 seconds, I'll do it. Okay, we'll do this. Fish, yeah. Let's go. Are those actual, like, running flames? Yep. With glasses on? They got sunglasses on, because they're super cool. <laughs> I was yeah. like, they're too hot. <laughs> That's great. All right, so the super only things hot, we really have so left... So cool. <laughs> yeah. What? No, the only things we really have left to do are just, uh... Colored bananas and bosses. Let's just clean those up, and then we'll hopefully have diving at the end of all that. Sounds good. So in this level, I can get Lanky's colored banana fairly easily, and then we can fight the boss as well fairly easily. Yo, boss Let's fight? Yeah. See if the boss has anything. You can peek what the boss has before you actually do it. So we'll make sure to do that. Yeah. You dare. Make sure it's working. Ah, uh, we need that. We definitely need that. Primate punch. Doesn't actually get us anything here. It does get us stuff in castle. Um, but I'm going to want to check. Yeah, it's a knuckle sandwich, exactly what it is. <laughs> the witchiest knuckle. I cannot peek what the rock is cooking, unfortunately. Who can? Okay, gross. Oh, that's a big pig. Hippo. Yep. Wait. Wait, okay. Let's pick any hippo. Potassium binge. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Too much potassium <laughs> will get you radiation poisoning. Fun fact. Radiation? What? Yeah. I was thinking to do with your heart. Bananas are, bananas are very slightly radioactive. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Same. Been there. <laughs> Primate Punch it, gets us it also a couple of things that I can uh, just kind of get some banana bunches. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bananas At this take point, tryptophan. I'm... Sorry. <laughs> so it helps you sleep. Oh gosh. So true. You, you guys want to hear a, a Canada joke? Sure. Yes. Always. So, Literally always. Here, here's, a, here's a fun fact. Here's a fun fact that you guys may not have known. Is that bananas were actually named by a Canadian. Oh. Oh, yeah? That? Yeah. And so they actually, they discovered the banana. And they said, okay, well, how do we name this this fruit? Okay, well, let's let's draw letters out of a hat and see what we come up with. What? They draw one letter, <laughs> and they, it's a B, B, and they say, all right, N -A -N -A it's a B, A. <laughs> and then they draw a second letter, and they say, oh, it's an N, A. And they draw oh, a third no. letter, oh, it's N, A. And there you go. That's how they named <laughs> Banana. Uh, that's clever. Okay. Very okay. good. I just always think. Anyway. <laughs> you know. Song. <laughs> hey, Arrow, hey, laugh hey, at the hey, joke. <laughs> Can I at least get a pity laugh? Can I get a pity, pity wheeze of just. <laughs> somebody, somebody find that joke funny, please. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I got you. Pity kick. <laughs> I got you. No normally, I, uh, I, I charge for my fake laughs, but this one's on me. Because you've been such a good friend. Um, I don't think I can get that. You know what? We're just gonna leave. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Never bring up Nun and Lon again. Alright, couple more things we can do in Castle now that we have Primate Punch. Thank God. Wow, look at this guy screwing up his own damn emo. That's embarrassing. Can you believe <laughs> this, guys? <laughs> what a what a jerk, am I right? Ah uh, yes, <laughs> new news Apollon Lay Skelets. Wait, what is squil squelet? What does that mean? Skelets. It's the French oh, word skeleton. for skeletons. <laughs> oh. You love skeletons. Okay. Go ahead and look up Tele Francais and have your brain flipped upside down. Nice connect. <laughs> Canadian television series? Uh. Oh wow. That's a little scary. It's an anthropomorphic pineapple. <laughs> yep. The ananas, as it's known. Oh my goodness. Not to be confused with bananas and pajamas. That's Australian. Yeah, I know. Skelets is your favorite French word, yeah. Oh man, 33. Getting close. Skelets sounds like what I'm gonna order, like, at a restaurant, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to order, uh... The skelets, please. Yeah. Do no zappel on the skelet. Which is, of course, French for we are called the skeletons. <laughs> Same, honestly. So we have a password here that's random every seed. Do we have 23 as number one? No. We do. Okay, it is. It's 23 as number oh. one is the password this seed. Love that it for did. us. 
me peek what this is. It's a blueprint. <laughs> well. Oh, that's that's good for us, though. That, that gets us bananas later, which we need. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, it's a uh -oh. boogie ghost! Ah! No! Oh, no! Big. How I'm, dare I'm you? Terrified. The nervous enemies, I guess. I just... Man. <laughs> Funky's music versus Jam Jar's music. So Funky's music is ba da bum 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 ba da 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 da. And then Jam Jar's goes like ba da bum 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 ba da ba da bum 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 ba da. Like that, like like a military march. They're slightly different, but yeah, they are they are very similar composition. Pro I think they're in the same key. I can't really tell, but it's the same. It is the same instrument for sure. That much I can say. High pitched flute. Everything's in the same key because it's all Grant Kirkhope. We did the music for everything. Yeah, it's true. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> All right, so something I, I I've gone on a few hyper fixations, but one hyper fixa fixation I will never let go, never leave my brain is that of the band Radiohead. Hey, are, are you familiar at all? <laughs> I've heard of yes. Thirty-four. Oh my god! Do you know what thirty-four? Thirty-four is the number of uh, Toronto Maple Leafs legend Austin Matthews. Happy thirty-four months subscribed to the Zelathon channel. Wow, look at Love that. See that. Yo, yeah, my six, goat, six goals in two games, two hat tricks in a row. That's my goat right there. Very cool, very cool. There's there's no other reason to associate 34 with anything either. So oh, it's, that's that's um, the only association we can possibly have. Yeah. But anyway, um, so are you are you guys familiar with Bob Dylan? Yeah. I, I I am familiar. He ha he has a song called. Not like called, personally, uh, but okay. But <laughs> you're you're aware of Bob Dylan. Are you aware <laughs> yeah, of Bob Dylan? Yeah. Uh, so he has a song called "Subterranean Homesick Blues," of course. And so Radiohead on the critically acclaimed OK Computer, number one album of all time on Rate Your Music. Uh. Has that. a song called "Subterranean Homesick Alien," which is an homage of sorts to the um, Bob Dylan song. And if you listen to it, so this this has been the hyperfixation. So if you guys are familiar, are you guys familiar with a, a TV show called Adventure Time? The what? I'm I'm familiar. You're familiar with a show called Adventure, Adventure Time. Time, right? Adventure, Adventure Time. Adventure Time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Recently. Uh, a new spin-off series was created called uh, Adventure Time Fiona and Cake, which is like the, the gender bent oh, versions okay. of uh, those two characters. And the theme song in the very first episode, it's it's only in the first episode, the theme song that they use, it starts with this chord. As soon, It's a very interesting, very weird chord that doesn't really fit the theme of the rest of the, the song. This chord! In fact, sounds exactly like like the first root chord in the song "Subterranean Homesick Alien" by Radiohead. I thought that was very cool, and I had just been hyper fixating that for the last day and a half. And now you all know. You can all go ahead and listen to it, and you'll hear it, and you'll be like, "Wow, this is very specific. Why are you telling me about this?" But <laughs> been my sort of thing I listen to because I see the lyrics. The Radiohead, Radiohead, Subterranean, Homesick Alien. It's all about living in, you know, basically urban jungle. You know, nobody really cares about anything aside from themselves and wishing you could be abducted by aliens and move on with your life <laughs> and see the world for what it really is, but you're just stuck in your rut with your friends who don't know any better. Very, very beautiful song. And they're all uptight. They, yes, they are. That is, you, you are correct. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for 
technology. <laughs> Jamie, you're being called out in chat for being a music nerd. I I mean, yeah. I, I'm not going to deny this at all. <laughs> I'm very confused here because this tracker says that I can get... Okay, I'm going to need to do a tricky, tricky do here. Tricky do. <laughs> oh. oh, almost. Oh. I need to try and get that oh. banana bunch there. That was but in order nice. to do that, I need to... Jump up. Living in the urban jungle, collecting bananas and wearing a necktie. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's true. Such is the life of a, a spider monkey, such as Diddy Kong. Woo! Oh, oh cool. Oh, Good video oh, game. Oh, oh my Whoa. gosh. Sorry for the momentary seizure. <laughs> it's like, what? what's happening? <laughs> 20 year old game, by the way. <laughs> Please, somebody tell me that they listen to the two songs I was talking about and they hear hear what I'm talking about because I, I need this in my life I need somebody to validate me <laughs> I, I cannot validate you I'm I'm currently uh, doing a stream thing That's on good. twitch That's good. Okay. TV slash Zeldathon I mean you got it you got it Where the balloon is? No, it's on the other side of the castle. We'll go get it. <laughs> My words just translated into KK Slider Slash. me noi. Mama me noi. No. I jump into it. Crunch. Need it, YouTube links? Okay, we're gonna take a break in just a sec. Once I find this bottle, I mean, item, we're gonna take a YouTube break. I do have a link. And I don't. Is that allowed to? And, I mean, you can you can wow. drop whatever you want in the chat. Yeah, I think you're a mod, so you literally can. Oh. Break the rules. Do it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Disrespect your surroundings. <laughs> Disrespect your surroundings. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, that's good. That's it. <laughs> balloon, balloon, baby. That gets me one <laughs> item. <laughs> A baboonus balloon. Mods do whatever they want. It's true. Mod, mod, uh, mods OP. Okay, so that's subterranean homesick alien. So it begins with a little, like, guitar intro, but the important part is the first chord when the drums kick in. The first chord. Listen to that, and then listen to the the, the episode one opening to Fiona and Cake. Which can also be linked in chat. It's kind of chill and kind of lo-fi almost. With less. Actually, I don't know what lo-fi means, but <laughs> it's low something. Low, low fidelity is what lo-fi means. Okay, what is fidelity in terms of this? Put your back. Music fidelity. Are you true to something? I'm just trying to focus on the randomizer here. Focus on the rando. Why? <laughs> Lost control of my life. <laughs> this it's looks really creepy. Like he's been possessed it's me. or something. It's Baboonus Balloonus. Oh my gosh. Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. Right, so the goal of this mini game is to protect the fairies from getting eaten. Uh, it's like the one where you protect light bulbs, Christmas lights, and uh, exactly. That one almost got eaten. I saw that. Wow. 
No! Oh, now I've got to uh, own. Oh no! Oh, no, the screams! All right, we're fine. Oh gosh. Oh, we're gosh. fine now. <laughs> this scream. We watched that last one get eaten. Just, just as yep. a... Diving, please. Oh. Yes! Oh. Alright, we're ready to take a 5 to 10 minute break. Let everybody stretch, get up, and enjoy a drink of water. And we'll be back with more controlled, not controlled chaos, dungeon shuffle. <laughs> All right. Okay.
Hey, we're back. We're ready to play more Donkey Kong 64. Yee! Get going. Look who it hey, is. Uh, Alright, so we just got diving, which is a very important move. Okay. There's one more thing I'm gonna get here before we move on. This is hinted way of the hero, so we're just gonna grab this now before we proceed. And hopefully we'll be able to finish the seed in no time at all. We're at 35 out of 60 bananas, so we're getting close there. And we've got quite a few blueprints. Seven, in fact. So. Yeah, if we're if we're not done within an hour, Jamie gets mad. I will get so we, very we can't let that happen. Angry, as the, the, the that's what we were told. The humans say. All right, so I'm <laughs> as all humans say, correct. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go ahead and Angie get Kong. Yep, more that's hints. it. <laughs> Hopefully, these hints will point me to the end of the seed. All right, Igloo is path to key eight. We might find something in Igloo later. Okay, that's useless. We already have Tiny. Yep, we already got the Diddy Metal. Horus is level 7 at 38, so we're actually almost ready to end with this, but there's not really much we can do in there that's indicated. Hold on, Sheepyard Outskirts is Chunky K rule. Okay, so that's going to either be Hunky Chunky or... Really Need this in one more time. Okay, yeah, Sheepyard Outskirts. K rule. Okay, and then one more hint here. Yeah, we don't need that. All right, so that's level seven is for us. Let's go take a look at level six real quick. So what are we looking for right now? Like, what what are some things that we don't? All right, so we just got a hint that we know. So the final boss, normally in the normal game, it's five phases, which um, you need. Each Kong has their own phase, and it's a very very long boss fight. Um, in this, it's in the randomizer, it's reduced to three, so we only need three of them. However, each of those phases have its own like subset of required items. Don't need that. Um, let me just read these hints and then I'll explain the rest of them. Tiny K rule. Okay, uh, I'm gonna write that down. Um, so, so we've, we've gotten hints for both. Um, Tiny and Chunky have K rule phases, and each of them have their own item. So Chunky requires Punch, Hunky Chunky, which is the barrel, right? Barrel and uh, Gorilla Gun as well. So Hunky Chunky and Gorilla Gun we're still looking for, and Tiny we're still gonna need Feather or Oranges in order to do her things. Forest Shops is Path the Key Eight. That's very good to know because normally level seven is going to be empty in any given seed. So knowing that we have to go in there is actually really really good information. We also know that uh, research and development in factory is path key. So let's go ahead and go in here and see what we can find in research. And factory is another really good level to do just for like general progression because this level is kind of just a straight line. Um, and there's lots of just random bananas all over the place that we can grab. Um, so we'll go ahead and see what we can find here. This is the production room. That is just a GB. That's a crown. We don't need either of those. All right, so this is a really cool peak that we can do here for a splat that's like kind of high up. We have to climb up in order to get him. But if we play a musical instrument, we can actually. Look up and see that it's just. Okay, I couldn't actually see that, but I'm pretty sure that was just a golden banana. So, sorry, I was focused on a couple other things here. Yeah, let's proceed on with the level. Again, we're just trying to get to research and development, which is actually, I mentioned it's a straight line. That's actually a later part of the straight line. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and do this level as quickly as I can. Get bananas where we can. We're up to 37 golden bananas. We need 60 again. I have seven blueprints, which means I am effectively at 44, now 45. So it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this because it's really fast. 
There's another tag anywhere strat that I can do to swap between Kongs at any time. Right here. So if I hit the switch, it spawns a banana up there. It's a blueprint. Normally I have to like activate another switch and climb these platforms. It's really annoying because there's these enemies trying to hurt you. But if I switch to Tiny, backflip and switch to Chunky, it didn't work, but pretend it did. Check it out. I just get up here for free. Pretty cool, huh? For free? Oh, free? Free? For free free? Alright, so that's Sounds eight like... blueprints that I'm at now. Yeah. Not quite free, but definitely worth the worth worth the look. Uh our merch store. Solathon.com slash merch. Whoa. I was just about to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too good at this. <laughs> Is it that one? There we go. Yeah, I'm actually wearing the uh, the hoodie right now, and it's it's seriously an incredibly comfortable, very warm hoodie. Like I've I've wanted to take it off a couple of times during uh, during the stream, <coughs> decided not to because it really is super comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. There's hats and mugs, Do you and won't. things you don't have to wear. They're also still really cool, and. That goes back to helping out the stream and costs with fundraising. <laughs> oh. Open the gates. Just like in the Mario movie, right? Trailer, open the gates. Do you yield? Yay, no? Arrow! Anyone? Yeah. Solothon I never actually saw the movie. <laughs> Wait, what? On Friday? Wait, what? Arrow said probably picking up a Solothon hoodie this Friday, so I was like, yeah! Uh, what you? What movie are you talking about? Nice. I'm talking about the Mario movie. I never actually saw oh. it. I just saw the trailer, is what I'm referencing. Oh. Okay. Kind of the same. <sighs> Come on. Heard that Bowser, the Bowser song or Peach song or something with Peach and Bowser. Yeah, and then... Peaches. There we go. Okay. Peaches, Peaches, Peaches. And it was like it was in a grocery store with a Bowser face. Like... It was. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, it's a picture of somebody seeing it at a store with Bowser's face near the peaches. <laughs> So I'm only going to go for like the very quick stuff at this point. There's a bit I can do in research and development. Start, they're, they're all pretty slow. Um, so I'll start with the fast one. But again, they're all going to be fairly long to do. So I'll do my best and hope that we find the path to key eight early. This is the only fast check that I can do. And it's monkey port. Okay, that is the path right there, so I can probably ignore everything else. We definitely need that to beat the scene. Nice. Pro proceeding, ignoring everything else. Love that. Danger, high voltage, yep. Yep. That's to electric six. So that's two. So we are up to, oh my god, six, seven, eleven blueprints. So I just need to get to 49. Jeez, and we are able to go to Hideout Helm, which is the last level in the game. Anything here? Oh, Chunky's got. Okay, this is key f seven, which we definitely need. Great, okay. I was wondering. I was like, we don't have a key hint for key seven, so it could be anywhere, but it's just here in the shop. Can get one banana as well. Oh, I'm almost at a tiny. So we only need six more golden bananas for us to be up to the count. At this point, all we need is um, either oranges or feathers, hunky chunky, and gorilla gone. And gorilla gone is going to be hinted to us once I get up to 60, 
60 bananas. So I think we can just uh, kind of play a little bit, as they say, unga bunga. Hope that we uh, get to get to the finish line here. So I still have to check out the Aztec lobby. I haven't looked at the Aztec lobby, and I haven't looked at the uh, Galleon lobby. And we know Galleon is something, so we still have a couple hints left for me to get. So let's go ahead and get those, and then hopefully that gives us the information for this. We'll start for Aztec, because we know that the shops are path of key quarter, um, which means probably just means that it will be key. Um, hopefully it's the first shop, because the other two are locked by an item called the Guitar that I do not have. Hive Tunnel Area Path to Key. I already checked Hive Tunnel, so I am just going to go ahead and assume that we already have that. Metal Rewards Chunky Carrier. Um, I think I have all the Metal Rewards for Caves. No, I'm missing three of them, so maybe I want to go back to Caves with that too. Helm Lobby Kasplat. Okay, that, we can actually get that right now? Yeah, okay, I'm going to go get that. Then Main Isle is Path to Chunky Carrier. Okay. I don't... I think I have everything in the main aisle already. Okay, let's go get that Kasplat that was hinted real quick. Splash. So this is why we need Monkey Port. Getting up here to the final area, we need Monkey Port. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's just the requirement that we have. Let's just let it go there. Again. We need 60. I have 12 blueprints, which means that I only need three more. Technically, I only need three more gold bananas, and we are good to get the gold. I think this will be hinted right now. No, it will not. I need a uh, couple more gold bananas. So this was hinted way of the hero, so this will be an important item. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting that color vial. Bongos? Oh yeah, okay, we do need bongos, actually. That's, that, that makes a lot of sense. Never mind. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was the whole game. <coughs> bongo. I remember, what was the name of the game? We're gonna, but, I remember we're that gonna involved... gonna play, play the game with the... Yeah, Don Kyung Bongos? Yeah. Control Chaos? What? Oh. I thought... Oh, <laughs> yes. So guys, if you didn't know, Control Chaos is a... One of our shows that uh, Super Louis 64 plays a game with a unique controller. Like last this past Sunday was the the handheld vacuum with Luigi's Mansion. So that's hilarious, oh. super hilarious. And he's also played. Um, was he was inside of? Okay, getting over it. He was inside of a uh, a little box. <laughs> And that was a great stream. That, what was it called? A little swing thing? He was actually using that to move, and that was... I was crying laughing. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Yeah. Check out our VODs on YouTube. That's also pretty neat. <laughs> and Jamie randomizes what's inside the game. He randomizes what's on out the outside of the game. Alright, so there's key four. That's great. That's access to the final level in the game. Uh, what is this? So now we have five more hints that we can get, and we have a galleon path to Chunky K roll, which is either going to be Hunky Chunky or Google. I'm hoping it's Hunky Chunky, because the other one's going to be hinted. But if not, then hopefully we get a hint for the other one. So I think we're good to just we're gonna grab this and then we're gonna peace out. Because at this point we who's the dude with the hat? That's Mario. It is, yeah. Who is this dude with the hat? Some loser. Mario. Yeah, <laughs> Mario's the loser. <laughs> I'm gonna go to level five now, which is Gloomy Galleon. And from here, we gotta check out the outskirts. 
which will bring us to path to Chunky K. Rule. And hopefully somewhere along the way, we'll find at least one golden banana, which will let me get up to 60 total. 34, Austin Matthews again. Shoutouts to Leafs legend Austin Matthews. My goat. Greatest player in the National Hockey League. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> Die. Fun fact, uh, Lanky Kong is the fastest swimmer of the five Kongs. So if you're underwater, you will want to be using him. What a wild thing. I mean, makes sense. Longest arms get places quicker. Biggest stride. Oh, that that's a oh, no. ocean. Okay, is that path? To oh, Chucky King? whoa! I got hit by a sunshine. Let's go. It's fine. A starfish looks possessed. I'm just saying. Got to Mario Sunshine. Great game. Maybe I'll do a randomizer of that one True. eventually. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Very underrated game. I uh... love Mario Sunshine. This Wait, might just be Sunshine guitar, actually. Four. Uh, I prefer Mario Sunshine, but I think both are great games. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I have both. Okay. The, uh... Oh, that song. This is, uh... The town. I can't place it. My head is... It's Little Root Town from Pokemon Gen. Thank you. Thank you. But Super Mario 64 oh did give me a little bit of a nightmare with that eel. I swear... Oh my gosh, that is that is nightmare fuel. I swear I did have one. Mario Sixty Four had a few then nightmare fuels because you had the piano as well. <laughs> the eel, the piano, jump scare. Just checking the last couple outskirts thing, and so now if I don't find anything else in outskirts, I'm gonna chase super hard all the uh, the the guitar checks because guitar is. Hopefully going to lead us to whatever the chunky item is. That's just a banana. I'm going to ignore that. It's going to be a waste of time. There's one more thing I do in outskirts and then one guitar check. It's a good thing apes can breathe underwater. Yep, <laughs> this is a, a known fact. Yeah. Right, so there's like a splat up there that will be killed by the guitar. There's my hopefully last banana. Yeah, we'll go check this guitar check. If it's nothing, we can set and there's plenty of stuff in Aztec that is guitar lock that we can go take a look at. Not bad. All right, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, All right, so we're gonna go into we're gonna go into Sorry, forest yeah. first because shops are path eight. This will be a required item as well. Same Donkey Kong. He's always in pain. Yeah, Donkey Kong rolling sounds like me getting out of a chair after a long time. <laughs> <laughs> my making Goron noises when I get out of a chair face. <laughs> Isn't being 30 great? Woo! I'll be there someday, don't you worry. Love my... Love my 30s. 
as a 20 something, I can't wait. <laughs> Rocket Bear, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> so there's two things that that can point towards, really. I'm gonna go check both of them right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go to caves first. There's actually, with Rocket Barrel, I can get another hint, which is really nice. Right here. Let's see you. Final smash, let's go. Okay, well, whatever. That's, we already have key seven, so that's useless. Wow. But this is guitar and rocket barrel lock, so I will not be surprised if this is a chunky video. It's not. You're dead to me. Look at that. It's another banana. We don't need bananas anymore. We've got all the radiation poisoning we need. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Having a giggle there? Who's laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I read what Platinum Paradox, par Paradox said. My entire body cracks when I move and I'm nowhere near 30. <laughs> sorry. So I've I'm past 30, but I'm not. I don't feel like I have a bunch of body aches. That banana comes out and just the disappointment on Jamie's face. <laughs> I know, right? I'm hoping for something good soon, but... One more thing I can check here that's locked by both of those items. I, I admit, I'm one of those uh, sadistic randomizer enjoyers that like seeing pedestal seeds. Yeah, of course, Link to the Past. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, I'm, yeah, I'm the worst kind of fan. Like. Any any type of, of run like that, I'm just like <laughs> suffer from my entertainment. <laughs> Check this because this gets me rocket barrel, which is gonna get me one more item in logic here. Is this the path? Go, Diddy, go! Ooh, it's a potion! Oh. I'll gladly take that. Let's go. Easier version of a mini game from earlier on. Oh. It's fine. But the game screams at you to reload. Hunky Chunky. Hunky Chunky is very much required to beat the seed. Okay. Uh, 
So there's one more thing I'm going to check, just because that guitar is still kind of pointing me in one direction. So in order to beat the seed, I'm still looking for Triangle, Gorillagon, and Feather. Those are the last kind of items I need. Be what's called Go Mode, which means I have all the items required to beat the seed. I'm ready to go. I need to just sprint to the finish line. Hey, is there a website someone can go to to learn more about this randomizer? PK64randomizer.com How convenient is that? Where I rolled this seed where you can... I can't believe it wasn't already taken. All right. <laughs> really makes you think. All right, so this requires Rocket Barrel to get onto this uh, ship. Switch. So this switch kind of sucks because the thing's moving. Yeah, that's nothing, but I can use that guitar and get to another check later. That's going to take me a while, but I'm going to go do that because it's locked by both Rocket Barrel and Guitar. And hopefully it gets me an item. So what are we missing for Gomo? We're just missing Gorilla Gone and Feather Bow. <laughs> so we gotta fight this That's mech fish. fish, yeah. This is one of the rare instances in the randomizer where I cannot switch between Kongs. I have to stay as Diddy here. Because if I don't, then the mechfish just disappears. Take care of this cop, because if he catches me, I'll be sent back to the beginning of the level, and that's no good. Fish. Now you got a full minute to do it. Minute to win. Clanker? Clanker's kid? Clanker? Fish, please. Let me in. Thank you. Let me in! Oh, I was confused. I was like, you're supposed to go. Wow, well, it's very dry inside that fish. Oof! A bee? Rude. What's a bee doing inside of a fish? There's a bee? Underwater. Mechanics. What? Rude. Lol. Oof. What a rude bee. And it is- okay, it's a chunky item. Great. Okay. Let's go. All right, it's Gorilla, Gorilla Gone. Gone. Okay. okay, so <laughs> okay, we just there we, go. we just need Feather now, and I think I have a hunch as to where Feather is because I still got I'm still chasing a Spring Hint from earlier that I, hasn't really been resolved. So I'm gonna go ahead and check a couple of Spring stuff. First place I'm gonna check is Factory, and I'm pretty sure I can narrow it down. Just a and we should be in go mode. As soon as we find either feather or oranges, oranges will also work, but I don't really know where oranges could be. So this is just for the, the, the final boss I need. Because I have tiny face, I need either feather or or oranges. Like I said, I have a spring way of the hero that I'm still kind of chasing. Right on its tail. Literally tail. Ah. I don't know if that was planned or not, but good job. Uh, whatever's funnier. Yeah, that's a potion. Okay. Wait, no, it's a pearl. Never mind. Uh, shoot. Lame. 
Do I want this? No, I guess not. Shoot. Um, right, well, I guess I'll get rid of a couple more things here. Does that not sound like Mickey Mouse to you? Yeah, Diddy. Everyone bit. says Diddy sounds like Mickey Mouse. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over to production. And there's, there's that I can clear out fairly easily. He's hot on your tail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't check this earlier. This might be important. Oh, it's a potion. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, this uh -oh. dude, this mini game sucks. This is this is the greatest hitbox in N64 history. Oh, this is uh This is that mini game from Mario Paint. Yep. Shout out to Mario Paint, anybody? Look at that. You see that hitbox? It's so good. Okay, wow. believe me when I say <laughs> that is way better than that mini game usually goes. All right, please, feather or oranges? Give me one of them. Okay, good. All right, we're in go mode. Great. You can go to the end of the game. It's the one you wanted, too. Yep. All right, let's, let's beat this game, gamers. Beat the video game. I just gotta trade in a couple blueprints here and we'll get up to 60. Yeah, yeah. So we just need to do Hide at Helm, which is six mini games, and then we'll do the final boss, which is three of the five phases. And then we'll be Dunsky. Dunzo. We are we don't we know that we have tiny phase and we have chunky phase. We don't know what the third K rule phase is, but thankfully we don't really need to know. We don't really need to know what the K rule phase is because uh, we have the requirements for Don Donkey Kong has no requirements for K rule phase. Diddy just needs peanuts and rocket barrel, which we have, and Lanky just needs barrels and trauma. Any which way you look at it, you're we're set and ready to beat a croc. Yeah, we should be done yeah. in the next, uh, I want to say like 15 minutes or so. Probably less even, less than 15 minutes. Do you have thoughts on the Shrek croc? 15 minutes or less? On uh, crocs? Yeah, you Shoes? said crocs. And it was like, have you seen or heard about the Shrek crocs? Do you have thoughts? Uh, K rule phases are always random. You will always get three random K rule phases, and the order is completely random. So normally in the game you end with chunky phase, but in this you could get chunky first and then two other phases after that. Yeah. I saw the Shrek Crocs. I saw the ad that farted at me. <laughs> I was an ad for it. <laughs> I just heard talking and people talking about it, and I was like, what? Why? So if if not for the fact that we also need Gorilla Gone for the chunky phase of K rule, if if we didn't have chunky phase, we still need Gorilla Gone for this right here, so that we can swing across the vines to get over to Helm. That's the reason why Gorilla Gone is required. And it's actually if you don't have it and you have sixty gold bananas, you can go to that pad and get hinted as to what level and what Kong you need. Hmm. So, I have the order written down. Okay, DK phase is first. Wait, please tell me I have triangle. Do I not? Oh no, I don't have triangle. Okay, but I can get this hinted. I can get triangle hinted. I'm gonna need to do parts of Helm again. But I actually, I don't have triangle. Get it hinted. That'll be no problem. All right, so I lied. We're not in go mode, but we will be soon. 
Welcome to bonus stage. All right, so there's two schools of thought for this mini game. You have to grab coins in the water. You can either pick Lanky, who's the fastest swimmer, or you can pick Chunky, who has the biggest hitbox, to grab the coins. And you can see which school of thought I am a part of. <laughs> Big hands. Big man. Honestly, that makes sense. Um, accuracy is probably more important than speed, yeah. so being able to increase your accuracy is... Yeah. <laughs> this minigame again? Okay, nice. So these minigames are completely random, so the fact that we get this twice in a row is very funny. Did you know that there's actually two uh, two schools of thought on this Wow, yeah, there's schools of thought, just like there's schools of fish, am I right? <laughs> hey! <laughs> that works. Grabbing coins is no problem. The only issue is that sometimes the starfish get in your way, but it's fine. Typical star you behavior. I know, right? Typical Misty fans, Misty enjoyers. That's right. There's only two schools of fish in the sea, yeah. and one of them is <laughs> boating school. Um, whichever one you feed the most. Is... All right, so we can get the hint. Once we get to the chunky phase of Helm, we can get the hint for it, but I need to complete the Diddy phase first. So we'll do that. So the first two mini games were fairly short, which is pretty lucky. Uh, I have no idea what these other two mini games are. If they're long, then we lose a lot of time. I'd rather do that and go for the go for the hint than just randomly guessing and going through each level, being like, "Where is it? Where is it?" I'd rather have have it narrowed down True. at least a little bit, even if it's locked by nine. When we can stop it. Fatty Barrel Bandit. No, it's just like when I was in Vegas. All right, so here's how you win at this minigame. So the first and third slot will be two non-bananas and then a banana. The oh. second and fourth one will always be three and then a banana and then one and a banana. So you see here it's pineapple banana, that's one. Grape, coconut, watermelon banana. Whereas this one, it's two. It's pineapple, grape, and then watermelon, coconut before being a banana. So it's two and two and then one and three. Mm -hmm. So I always know when there's going to be a banana showing up. Mm -hmm. Good slot All right, for so that's the skill. That is three very fast mini games. Let's hope that the last one is also very fast. Because I'm gonna again, I'm gonna need. Okay, this one's fine. This one's pretty fast. Again, I'm gonna need to do all these mini games again once I get triangle. So again, we're hoping that all these are fast. And thankfully, they all are very very fast, easy mini games. Yeah, yeah. So you need to get four bananas in a row in the uh, in the slot machine. Of, uh, kind of the name of the game. But again, I always know when the banana is going to show up. So. All right, so once I get onto this pad, it'll tell me where triangle is. What's the bottom time? Okay, so you have a time limit in order to beat all of Helm. And if that timer runs out, you game over. And it's based on, like, there's an initial timer and the number of blueprints you trade in increases the time. All right, everyone shut up. What's the hint? Isles with Chunky? Oh, my. Is that just... Oh, okay, I know exactly what that is. Wow, that's a really specific spot for it, actually. Usually it's like, oh, it's this level with this character, and there's like five different things you can get. This is literally one thing. It's exactly one thing that I can get. But I can't get it. Well, that's probably a best... What's that? Probably the best option. Yeah, exactly. No, it's it's really lucky that, that it's so specific. Wait, I already did this. So you need to use the sax pad here. So you need saxophone, right? And then once you get saxophone, it spawns a hunky chunky barrel, which is over here. So 
earlier when I said rolling with DK was the fastest way to move in the game, that was actually a lie. Actually, the fastest way to move in this game is long jumping with Hunky Chunky. Found the X here. And then there's a huge rock over here that gets destroyed. There it goes. Fastest way to move in the game. Right here. It did not get destroyed. It just turned off. Like it was, it was, it was either rock or there's no triangle. Way. All right. There was no animation. And now we can go back into helm. We're gonna have to do this for mini games again, but we are, without a doubt, hundred percent in go. Long. That didn't even look like he fell that far. Yeah, the fall damage is a little bit restrictive in this game, but it's fine. Crunch. Let's go. All right, I bet the first two are the same one. You think so? Yep. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be the exact same no. minigame. Wow, it's Splish Splash Salvage. Yeah, did you know that in this game there are actually two oh, okay. <laughs> there are two schools of thought? <laughs> just just try to redo our the, the entire segment that we just did. One see. of them has a manta ray teacher. And then you touch the butt and go to <laughs> P. Sherman forty two Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. I understood that reference. Finding Nemo. Okay. <laughs> I was I was at uh, the local aquarium this weekend, and I actually found a tank where there were both clownfish and dory fish, and I got a picture oh, of clownfish and a dory fish together. It was magical. It was awesome. Mm. Missy, very popular. I don't remember when the last time I went to an aquarium was. I actually went to a pizza place and they had a Why Australian uh, an aquarium and I was like, ooh, that's cool. Why Australia? Because that's where the movie takes place. Yeah, I don't work for Pixar. I don't know why. That's oh nar. Yeah. Or nor. I'm 150 years old, dude. That's still young! <laughs> sure! Gnarly, bruh! <laughs> yeah, he, he's been showing up on my TikTok, like, all over the place on my For You page. Okay, whatever, man. Everybody knows what I mean when I say Dory Fish. Don't Blue fact check my fish knowledge. Welcome to bonus stage. Any guesses as to what the last two mini games are going to be for Chunky? Well, the last what? I, I don't know what the, the second the last one's going to be, but the last one's going to be the beaver one. The beetle? Luckily, the beaver one. The beaver I, bother? I, okay. Yeah, it can't be that. It one. can't. Yeah, beaver yeah. bother is is. There, there are two mini games that are explicitly banned from season two settings. One of them is Beaver Bobber, which is banned for being too hard, and the other is the Turtle mini game, which is banned for being too easy. Hmm. <laughs> and I bet at least one of them is going to be this again. You have the slot machine, okay? Yep, yep. I think I think at least one of them is going to be the slots again. And we'll say the other one is the fairy one because, like, we've seen that one a few times already. Oh, I feel yeah, like it would sure. just be poetic to oh, see yeah. it one final time before. I mean, there play. is like the way this works is that if you see a mini game once in a randomizer seed, it's more than likely that you're going to see it again. So yeah, that, that is a fairly good guess. Oh, the, yeah, the minecart game is also actually banned just because it's like it, it's an auto scroller basically. 
Sorry, there's too many games that are banned for being too easy. The other one is the minecart one, just because it's 60 seconds of you do basically like the same motions over and over, and nobody wants to do that, right? Finally have triangle. Rock on, Chucky. It is the fairy minigame. Oh my god, you were right. Okay, so that's one. That's one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Heck, that one in particular. Hey, we didn't even see what's going to get eaten at the last second. This time. That's good. Yeah. All right, last mini game here. All right, is it? Give me, oh, give me slots. Ah. Uh, hey, technically, I was still right. Yep. yep. cheese today. Alright, so that's Hideout Helm. We can proceed on and get key 8, and we'll figure out what our last uh, phase of cave roll will be. And then we'll be done with the siege. Let's go. King Cruel. King Cruel. He's King Cruel. I'm King Cool. Puts on sunglasses. What's our last phase? It's lanky phase. Okay. More random hey, facts about Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. That's okay. The more random facts about Donkey Kong. It says Mario is actually Donkey Kong's abusive owner. It's the villain of Oh. Wow. Um, yeah, but, oh wait, Donkey Kong's movements are based on those of a horse, not a gorilla, as the developers saw the gorilla's movement were not up to scratch. Um, three of them, really, curious things. In the early Donkey Kong game, well, no, Mario, I'll check him. What's up? Huh? How do you feel about feet? I like them in socks. Or Let's go feet. Not nothing else. How do you feel about toes? Ew. Yo. Free? Are you on live yeah, on for Twitch? for free. For free? <laughs> no. Uh, that's that's. I would. I could not. I could not play that. <laughs> oh no. This is one phase of the final boss fight. Yes, you are in a wrestling ring against King K. Rool. And in one of the phases, you fight against his toes. What a statement. In one phase, you fight against his toes. What's this guy's name again? I was wondering about like, King, King Cross or something. K
Nobody's prepared for this phase of the boss fight. It's almost over. Though. It's just... It looked like giant wooden bowling balls connected to, I don't know, something green. <laughs> Alright, so we still have chunky phase and lanky phase. Lanky phase is... There's a bit of cannon that we're missing. Because normally you do Diddy phase second and then lanky phase third. Okay, it's lanky phase. So in the Diddy phase, you drop spotlights on King K. Rule. And then in this phase afterwards, he has one of the spotlights stuck on his head. And so he can't see you right now. That's like actual cannon in the boss fight um, that we're oh. going to use. Uh, but we skip Diddy phase because, again, there's only three phases in the randomizer just to keep it a little, a little bit faster. So, yeah, just pretend we did the Diddy phase. So we throw a barrel with a banana in it. We play the trombone so he hears us and he comes running towards us and then slips on the banana peel. And that's how we damage him. Again, pretend. Ah, he fell down. XD. Comedy slapstick. Uh, that might not work. <laughs> okay, just barely got it. Thank God. <laughs> oh. Nothing but kill. Now we just gotta wait for him to be on the banana peel. And there we go. So that's Lanky Phase. Right, so the, the last phase is going to be Chunky. Didn't even have to fight any yep. The last phase is going to be Chunky, which is canonically the last phase in the fight. So you actually get a little bit of closure here. But again, in Randomizer, you can get it in any order. So you can get chunk Chunky first. Here, this is actually how the boss fight will end. So, or actually, how the boss fight would end in the normal game this is also the most restrictive phase of the boss fight because you need four separate items in order to do this phase. you need slam two which thankfully we have hit the switch uh, you need gorilla gone turn invisible so that you can see the hunky chunky bear. use it turn into hunky chunky and then finally to hit him you need to use primate punch so that's the four moves that you need in order to be Well, was it punch He's out? just playing to the crowd. Yeah, okay. I was like, this reminds me of something that's punch out. Bang. Bonk. It's wild that almost all of uh, Donkey Kong Ganon comes directly from Rare and not Nintendo. That's the video game, by the way. We did it. We won. Ooh. We did it, gamers. Good job, chat. The best. <laughs> Is that a high five? That was me <laughs> trying to fix my webcam. It was out of focus. Oh anyway, yeah, GG. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun. Learned a thing or two. Um, again, this is our new yeah. weekly show called Dungeon Shuffle. I will play a new randomizer every single week. And uh, I'll play a lot of fun with host Valor and Hermione. Shout out to everyone who made this possible. I think we're good to wrap up for this evening. Remember that you can yeah, support us on Patreon. Gets yeah, Patreon. Uh, exclusive things, benefits there. Um, we nope. have October 27th for the Waluigi's Arcade Heist. October 27th. Yes. Yep. And Not this weekend, but next weekend. Yep. So be prepared for that. Raising money for Starlight. Uh, oh, yeah. Then we have. Okay. Um, 
We have a right. Discord and time for me. Yeah, keep an eye out on our socials because we'll be. I'm sure the the schedule will be coming soon. For um, it sure will. For while we just are. I promise. Uh, so you know, just keep an eye out for it on there. I know somebody was asking about it earlier, but it, it it'll be ready when it's ready. Just keep an eye out on our socials for that, or join the Discord. I'm sure it'll be put in the Discord as well. Um, so let's see. Yeah, the next show I believe is Controlled Chaos this Sunday, right? I don't think there's anything between now and Controlled Chaos. I think and so. then we have one more episode. One more episode of Dungeon Shuffle before WAS starts. So. Oh, I'm so excited for that. We'll see what we can do. It... All right. All right. You ready to wrap up then? Well then. I do have a raid target in mind. If it's okay if I may. Ooh. Uh, our friend Amaya sings. Is doing a stream. Doing a vocal stream. Should we go say hi to her. Amaya underscore sings. do it thank you guys so much for joining and i'll see you guys next week for the next episode be here or don't and then we'll be sad <laughs> don't miss out jamie will actually weep on camera <laughs> here, so please be here <laughs> it's been real y'all hmm.